If you are watching this, please do comment, like, subscribe, join the notification gang, hit the notification bell, get notifications every and any time I post. Thank you, I appreciate it, and I'm out. What is up, YouTube? It is showtime. Back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the new best 7'3 center build for rec players in NBA 2K21 current gen. Now before we get started, I did take a little 3 day break, I do apologize, I just needed some space and some time to get my head clear. You know, I've just been going through a lot lately, I've uh, been adjusting to my, you know, the weather's changing and all, just adjusting to new things. Uh, but I'm back better than ever, I took my little vacation, it's back to the grind, as Kobe once said, the job is not done. So we're back, back on the 10k grind. Uh, you know, uh, I got a lot of good videos coming up for you guys. Uh, another thing, the video after this one will be the badge glitch. So please do stay patient. It takes a while to film and edit a badge glitch and make sure it's good. You guys know I choose quality over quantity. I could be putting out two or maybe a video every single day, but I choose to take a day break so I can spend that time and quality and making sure the video is perfect for you guys. So do not worry. Rest assured, the next video will be the badge glitch. So if you guys want that badge glitch, I need you guys to spam badge glitch in the comments. Spam, 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 spam. spam. Time. it's coming bro it's coming i promise um another thing i will be doing a giveaway when i reach a certain amount of followers on both twitter and instagram so i'm going to leave both of the link to those in the description but i will mainly leave my link the link to my twitter in the comment section down below i need you guys to enter this giveaway and i need you guys to follow my twitter we are growing on twitter um i want to be able to you know communicate with you guys on twitter so you guys can send me video suggestions questions and just express how i feel so do follow my twitter uh, one more thing, if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys find nothing but good vibes, good energy, and good content. Um, if you are not new and you know what's up, appreciate you guys for tuning into today's video. Nevertheless, nonetheless, we're going to get straight into today's video on the new best 7'3 center build for rec players. Now, this build was actually requested by you guys, so we're going to get straight into it. So, for the position, center. You guys want to go center. The reason why we are choosing center is because power forwards are not able to be 7'3. They're not able to be that tall. They have a cap at around 7 foot, I believe. So, we're going to go with the center build. This may sound unheard of. This is to all my guys who want different builds out there. This build is an absolute dog. Now for the hand, does it matter? Jersey number, does it matter? We move on to the skill breakdown. Now you guys have two main pie charts. What I don't like doing is limiting to you guys. I don't believe in telling you guys what to do. I want you guys to always feel like you guys have a choice and just give you guys guidance because I feel like you can only make the perfect build. Don't listen to YouTubers all the time. Try and do what makes you comfortable, but I want to give you guys an option between the two that I would choose and I will let you guys know the one that I am choosing. So your first choice is probably the blue and red one. This one is a really nice one. It's not the one that I'll be going with. Uh, you can do this one if you want the Hall of Fame finishing and defensive, but the one I'm going to go with and I think the better one is the all red pie chart. The reason why is because you guys are going to be able to get a 99 rebound and be an absolute dog in the paint. No one is going to be able to bully you. This is by far the best interior defending build in the game. Now, this is not a park build per se. I would say it's more for rec, more aimed towards rec, but I have encountered this build on the twos court and the screens are amazing. Nobody can get around the screens. You will get every single board and you will be unstoppable in interior defense. There are cons. The cons are your speed and your vertical will be lower because you are so big and tall. But I mean, to those who want this build, feel free to make it. I'd say it's more aimed towards rec, but we'll talk less and just move on with the build. So you guys want to go with the all red pie chart. Once again, you guys have two choices here. This is so you guys don't feel all limited. You guys have some free will, free choice. The first one is the all agility one. This is a good one. It's not the one that I'll be going with, but if you want to go with this one, one, feel free the one I'll be going with is the half agility and half vertical now the reason why I do this is because I basically get everything that the all agility part chart does but I get a way higher vertical now for those of you guys who weren't aware that vertical is important what vertical does is increases how high you jump how many blocks you'll be able to get and also helps your dunks so it's better to have a vertical this is coming becoming more and more popular with the amount of builds being made and it's my favorite physical profile to go with so go with this one it is the half agility and half vertical strength the least once you guys have done that, we'll move on to the ticks. Quite simple, what I'll do here, you guys want to max out your red off rip. Now, the reason why you max your red with the uh, defensive build is you'll be playing the best defense in the game. 
uh, you guys will have a 99 rebound when you guys get gym rat and all that stuff in 99 overall you guys will have the best interior defense and you guys no one will be able to score on you in the paint at all so you guys get 30 defensive badges dedicated to playing defense then you guys want to come up here to your finishing you want to max out everything uh, here come to the post hook the max you can actually get is 15 so we'll save some badge points and go to a 56 post hook that way you guys have the 15 finishing badges now this is all you can get you really can't get any playmaking badges so you guys can feel free maybe if you guys want you can max out your post hook if you feel like you'll be post hooking a lot if you don't feel like doing that you guys can just take them to the playmaking and just get some good pass accuracy some good post moves um, if you guys doesn't matter what you guys want to max out maybe max out your post moves and then your pass accuracy you guys get nothing extra but it's just there to have and there it is 15 finishing one shooting one playmaking 130 30 defensive and rebounding badges now i know this sounds like a very simple badge but it is a absolute dog in the wreck this is probably the best rec center build you guys are probably not used to it because it's not aimed or directed towards park and comp stage players but this is a very well known build when you guys are playing rec so feel free to make this build your body shape burly man this build is going to be an absolute dog when you guys have the height you guys want to go seven foot three max now this may seem very contradictive because i constantly preach oh have a high speed high. this is not the park this is rec this build can be used in the park and if you do you'll be an absolute like for example if you were to use this build in the park and never gave up a turnover you would never lose because your screens hit and you're going to get every board and you're going to be able to big dog everyone else. So the only con is that the speed and the vertical will be lower. There's cons to every single build. So feel free if you want to make this build. This was actually a requested build. So there's someone out there that probably wants this build. So I'm going to make it for you guys. So you guys want to make it seven foot three. Now for the weight, you guys want to go max with the weight. Now I know this sounds insane, but I'm telling you guys, no one can guard you. You get that 37 speed, 32, 30, 33, basically all 30s in the vertical acceleration speed, but you get that 86 strength you are the biggest weight you will play the best defense in the game the best interior defense in the game and you'll be able to get every single rebound no one will be able to horse you or snag you uh so once you guys have done that you guys can go max wingspan man this build is really going to be a problem y'all now for the takeover you guys have two choices i'm going to go with the rim protector one remember this is aimed towards uh, more uh, rec players so anyone that comes in the paint is not getting through your max weight you have damn your 99 interior uh, interior defense 99 rebound max weight long wingspan 30 defensive badges no one is going to get in your paint and there you guys have it you guys have the seven foot three glass cleaning lockdown build now once you guys have made the build i'm just going to quickly show you guys uh, what i'd actually do for the badge setup it's quite simple what i'll do here uh, so i just max this out you guys get 15 finishing badges so you guys want to go contact finisher gold so you're dunking on everybody you guys want to go showtime gold so you're absolutely getting you're boosting the teammate takeover when you guys are playing so if you're playing rec or whatever it is you're playing every time you get a nice dunk your teammates will actually get a huge boost in their takeover meters uh, next you guys can go put back boss gold it's an important badge especially when you're paying rec because you all you guys are really doing is getting rebounds and dunking and playing good defense there are only two major roles that this badge this build will be doing and that's getting rebounds and playing good defense uh, you guys have more upgrades here you guys can go lob city finisher bronze you don't need it any higher you guys have five more upgrades here i'd probably go slithery finisher gold and well no we'll go slithery finisher maybe silver and we will go and let this finish your goal this is the setup i'd go with if i were you guys it perfectly matches to your play style uh you guys get one shooting badge so just go with the slippery off ball so you guys slips are a lot better and you're moving faster off the ball now your playmaking you only have one i definitely put it on either unpluggable or quick first step i'm gonna go quick first step and now you guys have 30 defensive badges quite simple what i'm gonna do here brick wall bronze you do not need it any higher for the simple fact that you're 290 pounds with the max weight you really don't need it any higher than this uh once you guys have done that you guys can come down to maybe rebound chaser hall of fame rip protector hall of fame oh man go intimidator gold you guys are absolute brick wall like you guys cannot be stopped on defense you guys can stop anybody on defense uh chase down artist hall of fame maybe box silver um let's see here we'll maybe go heart crush hall of fame <laughs> interceptor hall of fame uh man the reason why you guys only need box silver is because you guys are already big like you guys are gonna box out everyone if you guys really want you guys can make these two hall of fame it's completely up to you or this hall of fame and this gold it's completely up to you i'm just telling you guys showing you guys ways how to save your badge points so you guys can get harsh crusher so you guys are achieving uh you guys are decreasing the opponent's takeover meters when achieving a highlight play on defense mm, we got four more upgrades here maybe let's go post move lockdown silver and moving truck silver wow this looks like a demon setup for inside center
now that is pretty much it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did like the video please do leave a like on the video if you support me and support my grind to 10,000 subscribers on youtube i want to ask that you guys hit the sub button and hit the, the notification bell so you guys are getting notifications every and anytime i post a banger video uh once again guys thank you guys for tuning in get in contact with my social medias to enter the giveaway stay safe stay healthy stay hungry and i'm out